All right, hey guys. Here I wanted to show you what you could do with some of those fabric scrap embellishments we've been working on. So here I'm at, I'm literally at a little card table, tray table, because all of my work surfaces in my office are full of scrap, fabric scraps and sewing machines and bits and pieces and craziness. So anyway, we're at this little tray table and I've got my magazine journals here and I've got them all made and covered except for the spine, which I left to last. I'm using Yes Paste, not only because it's a really strong PVA sort of book binding glue, um, but because it has a dr long drying time, a long working time, and I can really uh, play with pushing the fabric around without worrying it's going to dry on there too quickly and I'm going to hate it. If you don't know what a magazine journal is, I will link a couple of videos in the description below, including uh, the video uh, live stream recording from the originator, originator who is Dee Dee Willingham. Um, I think she's Inkwell here on YouTube. And um, a couple of my friends who have um, followed suit and we all find her um, technique for this fascinating. So we're all kind of doing the same thing as her, following her idea, following her lead, if you will. So I went ahead and made mine and now I'm taking one of my strips of fabric scrap embellishment and I'm going to decorate the front edge of the spine. I could leave it there with the plain canvas. I did cover it with the plain canvas, but I wanted to just pretty it up just a little bit. So I put down some yes paste and I'm putting my little fabric scrap embellishment on there and then taking a damp baby wipe to wipe the extra glue off. I do have a boo-boo there on my front cover. I don't know what happened. Something wet got on it. So I'm taking another little piece of halfway art and I'm putting that on the cover. And see, you already have these pieces done and ready and ready to go so that when you work on a piece like this, you can just quickly add them on and decorate your page or a journal cover and have something really interesting. So that was really quick and easy. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just getting all the little extra globs of glue off and then set that aside. Now, yes, paste does take a really long time to dry. So you have to leave it overnight. I have another one there that I want to do. Uh, one of them is a magazine um, like Dee Dee um, uses in her video. This one here is actually one of those financial statement books that you get in the mail every one in, once in a while when you have... Um, you know, financial investment kind of thing going on um, or 401k or whatever. And um, this one was pretty thick and at, made out of actually nice paper, which is not the norm. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, that would be interesting to use that. And it's just full of text in the background. So it would be interesting to use. So I glued it together and I covered it with some random scrapbooking paper that I just had in my stash. I'm actually not sure where that scrapbooking paper came from. I don't remember buying it. Might have come in Happy Mail, I don't remember. And I'm going to cover the spine with another piece of the plain canvas that I have. And these are just scraps and things that I had. I'm going to make sure all the edges are glued down there with the Yes Paste with my palette knife. And then wipe away the extra, extra glue, the excess glue with the Damp Baby Wipe. Then do the same to the front cover. Wipe it away with a Baby Wipe. And then add a piece of another scrap embellishment. This is a different one that I did. I don't know that you saw me make this one on camera. This is another one I broke a needle on because of all those beads that were on there. <laughs> a lesson to be learned there is don't sew beads because on beads because be careful. You'll break a needle. And I'm going to make sure I get all the pieces and parts sewn down. I'm going to shove a little extra glue under where the beads are so they don't unravel and come off and push it down wipe it away with a damp baby wipe and there we go so I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do with your um, scraps and your halfway art your scrap embellishments and if you want to uh, watch Dee Dee's video I'll link it in the description below if you want to join one of my Facebook groups send me happy mail um, send me an email, shop in my Etsy shop, support my channel that way, any of those things, check out the video description. The most important thing though, you all know what it is. Go out and I want you to have a great day, make some art, create some journals, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later.